Hi everyone, so in this video, we will be performing chemical conversions applying the concept of mole, right? So we will be having mole to number of particles, mass to mole, mole to volume, and mixed mole conversions. And that includes uh, density-related problems. Now, we, we have the following mole relationships that we must always remember. Okay, so the first one is that 1 mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particle. So 1 mole of particles has this certain number, has this much amount of particles. And when you say particles, it can either be atoms, it can either be compounds or molecules, whatever. Okay, so 1 mole of something is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of something. In, in as much as one dozen of eggs is equal to 12 eggs, all right? We can also use the number of moles to calculate the mass in grams of a compound. So that's grams formula mass, which we will base uh, primarily and mostly on the periodic table. Now, we also can, for in terms of gases at, temper at standard temperature and pressure, then we also have a molar equation equivalent for that. So this is the molar volume, 22.4 liters for a gas at standard temperature and pressure is equal to one mole of that gas. Okay, And you might ask, what is standard temperature and pressure? That's 2273 Kelvins or 180 M of pressure. Now we have this uh, diagram or it gives us the relationship between uh, the volume of a gas at STP with the mole, okay? uh, representative particles with the mole, and here mass with the mole. So they give us those, this gives us those uh, relationships. Okay, so uh, how do you use this guide? You can just have, if you start from moles to moles of gas at standard temperature and pressure, and you want to a volume of gas at standard temperature and pressure and you want to convert it into the moles of that particular gas so then you go into this direction and use the following uh, conversion factor okay so use the following uh, expression of equality okay or you can have from mass to number of moles so you just go where the arrow points at okay and you can use that particular uh, conversion factor Okay, in as much as this is helpful, then uh, it is only for starters, hopefully. So for those of you who are new to the uh, to mole conversions, then you can use this. But I recommend that you also get to know the process or the entire unit dimensional analysis. Okay, so for example, in here, we have the following problems. Now, our first one is how many moles of magnesium is 3.01 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of magnesium. So you have so many atoms and you do not want to keep on reporting it in terms of the number of atoms. So you want to uh, report it in the number of moles. All right. So how do we do that? Okay. So. This one is very important since uh, we deal with a lot of units in chemistry. Some of them are, might be very large and some will be very small, okay? So that's why we have to... There is a need for us sometimes to convert our uh, units, all right? So here, we are asked how many moles of magnesium. So we start with our destination and that is moles. MOL, so this is our unit, moles of Mg is equal to, then we start off with what is given to us, okay, with our given information. So 3 point times 10 to the 22nd atoms. Now, the thing here is we need to use a conversion factor such that we will be able to determine the number of atoms okay, or, and the number of moles. So what conversion factor or what statement of equality tells us the relationship between the number of moles and the number of atoms? Take note that an atom is an example of a particle. 
all right so if you have it in our list or in the diagram below we are, are actually dealing with uh, the first statement of equality or first conversion factor all right so that means i will have to cancel atoms okay and uh, retain moles as my uh, numerator so we know that one mole of atoms mg atoms is equal to 3.0 uh, 6.02 rather Six point zero two times ten to the power of twenty three atoms. Okay, again one mole of something is equal to six that amount six point zero two times ten to the twenty three of something. Now we can get to cancel atoms, so we end up with if you have your calculators with you with you, then you can calculate with me. Then you have zero. Point zero five, then zero zero. Okay, so you notice you notice that uh, it this is reported in three significant figures. Okay, because our given is in three SFs or three significant figures. Okay, so zero point zero zero uh, zero point zero five zero zero, and then our final unit is moles. Of magnesium mg all right so again we make sure that the unit that we arrive at is the same with one that we have been asked for okay so number of moles of magnesium this is number of moles of magnesium all right so you can pause the video to re uh, to review or take it in here is another example. This is glucose already. So glucose will be having glucose uh, molecules. So we are asked for the number of molecules. Okay. Take note that molecules is different from mole. Okay. Mole is a unit of measurement while molecules are the results of covalent bonding. So these are practically covalent compounds. Okay. So the number of molecules is as given that we have 4.0 moles of glucose okay let's see 6 H12 O6 so this is a reverse of what we had a while ago so from moles we will now be converting into the number of particles as for this case we have molecules all right so again, we can use uh, Avogadro's number in order to cancel out moles. So we know that one mole is in the numerator here. So that we can cancel it out, then we'll have to write it as the denominator of our uh, conversion factor. Okay, so that's one mole, C6, H12, O6. All right, and then how many uh, molecules are there for glucose in one mole of glucose? That's just 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. All right, so now that uh, we have a conversion factor that allows us to cancel the units of the given, and we it allows us to end up with the units of what is asked then we can carry out the operation so that's basically 4 times 6.0 times 10 to the 23rd molecules so that is mole to number of particles conversion so in this part we are now going to do mole to mass conversions or mass to mole conversions all right, so we have this following the second relationship listed in our in our table here, which di which gives us the uh, formula or actually the guide as to how we go about it. Right now, here are a few examples also. Okay. 
Let me have first my pen. Right, perfect. Now, uh, for number three, uh, you are asked to find the number of moles of benzoic acid, which has, which has a molar mass of 122.1 grams per mole that are contained in 2 grams of that sample. Okay, so you have some information given here. You have your starting material, or this is your first given. And then you also have uh, how many moles. So you are asked for the number of moles of benzoic acid. Uh, benzoic acid, by the way, is an industrial precursor to a lot of things. For example, you want to have ointments, uh, some, some medicines, or cosmetic products as well, right? So this is the structure. It's an organic compound, okay? With, and then, so in here, we are asked to find the number of moles given this amount, given that particular mass. So if we want to have the number of moles... Of benzoic acid so uh, if the formula isn't given it's okay as long as we have the molar mass so number of moles is uh, and then we start with what we have so we know that we have a 2 gram sample okay and then let's just abbreviate it as BA uh, to really make the labels complete okay and then we have 2 grams of BA benzoic acid in here and then we use one conversion factor and as for this case if you try to review the uh, diagram so, okay we can convert from number of moles to the mass using the molar mass of your compound all right as for the case of benzoic acid we know that the molar mass was already uh, given Okay? And the molar mass in the problem is 122. But the thing here is, where do we place 122 such that we will be able to cancel grams? Right? So since we need to cancel the unit of grams, then it's, uh, it follows that we place 122.1 grams of benzoic acid in here as our denominator. And the unit that we want is the moles, number of moles of benzoic acid. So that's one mole BA. All right? So if the formula of benzoic acid was actually given, then we can also write the whole formula. But we know that grams gets canceled here, and then we end up with the unit of moles. Okay, so that's two grams, or two times one divided by 122.1. Or that's 2 divided by 122.1 directly. Alright? So our answer here is 0 0.016. Now, let's try to look at how many SFs are there. So there are three significant figures. Therefore, our final answer must also have three significant figures. Okay? 0 0.0164 moles of benzoic acid. All right. Now, uh, a little time to reflect, okay, or to follow through the procedures. Okay, so this is our final answer. Right. So in the next example, we will be dealing with calcite as uh, the a sample is shown here. So a certain sample of calcite contains 4.86 moles. And then we are asked what the grams of that sample is. So what is the, what the mass in grams of that sample is. So uh, we want the number of grams, which is of calcium carbonate, that's CaCO3. Okay. And then we have, we are given 4.86 moles. So that's 4.86 moles of CaCO3. And then how should the conversion factor look like? So it should be one that gets to cancel out the unit of moles. 
All right? And then in this case, we are using the molar mass, okay? The mm of calcium uh, carbonate to cancel the number of moles. So in here, the what is our... We have to look for the molar mass of calcium carbonate, okay? So that, uh, that will be our first uh, step before we can fill this in. So we know that uh, calcium has a molar mass of 40.01, okay? And then carbon has 12.01 grams per mole. And then in oxygen, there are three atoms of oxygen, so that would be times 16, okay, which is the molar mass of oxygen, 0 0.00. Okay, so let's calculate now uh, how much the molar mass of calcium carbonate is. So we have a molar mass of 100.2, right? Uh, let's switch first. Okay, so 100.2. 100.02 rather grams per mole okay now we can use this as our conversion factor we can either write it as 100.02 grams per one mole or one mole over 100.02 0 here then grams all right so these are still statements of equalities these are our two uh, conversion factors now if we want to cancel the number of uh, moles in this given then we will have to use this the first a conversion factor such that we will have 100.02 grams of calcium carbonate over one mole of calcium carbonate still so by then we can cancel a moles calcium carbonate canceled moles calcium carbonate and then we end up with 4.86 times 100.2, okay? And then since we have three significant figures, then we just follow the, we report it in the correct number of sig figs. So that's 4, 8, 6 grams of calcium carbonate. All right? So this is our final answer, okay? So that's it for mole-to-mole -mole and mole-to-mass conversion. So stay tuned for the rest of the conversion. So from mole to volume and we'll have uh, mixed mole conversions, okay? I hope you find this video helpful and uh, enlightening as well. So take a break and you grab a cup of coffee.